It's the age-old story of TIG welding. You have to keep that tungsten uncontaminated. And boy does this one have a booger. We need to grind it. And if you're anything like me, you're cheap and you want to use a cheap angle grinder to grind it. But you don't want to do it on the flat face because it leaves a curved profile in your grind. And you don't want to do it on this edge because it pulls away and it'll leave a burr on the tip of your grind. And also it's very hard to hold on. Even if you try to steady it with your finger right up by, it just wants to fall right off the edge of the wheel. So let's try something different. Let's mark the edge of the guard right where the wheel is. Then let's get the wheel off this grinder. Now we've got to get a fresh cutoff wheel on another grinder, and we're going to cut a small notch right where we marked it so it lines up with the edge of the wheel. Not too much, just enough to rest your tungsten in. Now, take a look here. Steady's right in. Doesn't slide left or right. I think that might work fine. Get that wheel back on, tighten her down. Start her up, let's see how it does. Look at that, seems to be grinding nice. Cutting right along. Carve some of the boogers off from the side. I'm finishing up and I think it's coming out nice. Here, let's turn this grinder off and have a look. There she is. A nice, clean, consistent cone. About the right length, good and sharp. I think that'll do nice. Let's put her back into the torch head, into the collet body, set the length, tighten out the back cap. Back to welding. That's all we need. Good job. If you like this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Rain, get out of the shot. Oh, don't do, not on camera. Jeez, ow, dog. Get out of here.